little bit. My name is Karen Hewitt. I'm a Toastmaster since 2017 and the District 3 District Director. The other thing is, I'm actually a paid professional speaker. And today we're going to talk about professional versus public speaking, because you may not realize there is a difference. There are many types of public speaking. And today we're going to go over a few of the different formats, as well as some tips and tricks for you to become a paid professional speaker, if that is what you would like. So first, we're going to start with what is professional speaking? There are many different formats. There are public speaking, corporate speaking, influencer speaking, professional speaking, community speaking. The list goes on and on. So let's cover some of these. Let's start with the simplest, corporate speaking. Corporate speaking is actually what most Toastmasters come to Toastmasters for. They want to be able to present better in the boardroom, in meetings, to give presentations for sales, for marketing and other purposes. This is where you'll tend to have some form of screen share, some form of PowerPoint, and you have a purpose for speaking. You may be sharing reports, or you may be trying to get someone's business. One of the things about corporate speaking is, is it does tend to be very professional in the tone and the choice of language. Very rarely will you hear Tony Robbins style swear words, see someone in a t-shirt and pair of shorts, or even have people mumble and fumble through paperwork if they want to get it done in a great manner. So what you will see is them in suits, you will see professional slideshows, you will see well thought out mannerisms, well thought out presentations, lots of technical and clinical jargon, because they tend to be presenting to a room of their peers, someone who understands what the premise is that they're in. For example, if they're in IT or computer technology, you will hear a lot of that jargon going on in the presentation because they don't need to explain it. They are in a room of like-minded individuals. Next, we're going to go through one of the most popular ones right now. And this is one that we don't spend enough time on, and that is influencer speaking. What is influencer speech? This is more raw, more real, and more like table topics. Honestly, our influencers go live on different social medias or on YouTube, TikTok, even verbally speaking on Clubhouse to give some raw, real insight to their lives, to their business and other aspects. You're going to find that they may be more casually dressed. Language will be more casual. We may see a few Tony Robbins style slip ups there in their words. And we don't really focus as much on ums, ahs, souls and likes because it is off the cuff. And we're looking really at table topics that may last 30 to 45 minutes. See how it's a little bit different? Also, you'll be utilizing the phone to have that set up. So it's more elongated and not as widescreen as on the laptop. Then we have public speaking. What is public speaking? Well, honestly, public speaking is anytime you speak to a person, whether it be in a small room or on a stage. A lot of the time we use this as a way to gain more confidence, to gain more traction in our business, more traction at work. Public speaking is this big name that is the full umbrella over everything. So really, what is professional speaking? Well, this is where we tend to have a difference. Professional speaking is not about tone, look, genre, or personality. Professional speaking purely means to be paid to speak. And you have a wide variety of individuals that are in this place. You have everything from a very conservative, well-spoken, calm, quiet individual that may discuss something to someone who is loud out there, introduces singing, rapping, swear words, or anything in between. Professional speaking, all it means is that you're getting paid for it. And trust me, there are a lot of people out there for a lot of different reasons that want to hear your story. So if we go over a couple of the different genres that are the most popular in professional speaking. First, 
motivational. In fact, this is the one we hear the most, the motivational presentation. Such people are Brendan Bouchard, Brené, Brené Brown, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins. These are all individuals that are well known for motivational speaking. They influence their audience to get up and do something different with their life. They, whether it be to overcome fear, to be more productive, to have highly effective habits. All this is motivational speaking, where you're encouraging someone to step up and be something or someone that they came to your presentation to become. Another aspect of motivational speaking is the emotional motivational speaking. This is where we get to hear someone's story. It tends to have some form of traumatic side. It tends to feel painful. It tends to have a lot of heartfelt moments and they bring you into that presentation. Some of these individuals may have gone through great traumas. People speak on their experience with domestic violence. They speak on their experience of school violence. They speak on the experience of bullying, of natural disasters. People have talked about what it was like to be frontline at 9-11. These, they speak with that desire to have that emotional heartstring pull that, oh, you feel something, you're emotionally tied. And it has this almost like a feel good after effect. You feel relieved that you weren't in that situation and you want to achieve more with your life. Then we have the workshop style professional speech. Workshop is where you get to activity along with the presenter. They may have you planning a marketing strategy, doing dream boards, life goals, crafting a resume. As they are presenting each different aspect of the activity, you are doing it along with them, doing workbooks, spreadsheets, something to move along with that individual. Their goal is to have you achieve an activity by the end of the presentation. Now, there are many more different types of professional speaking, but the key is, it is whether or not you are paid to be in that place to give that presentation. And as I was saying, language doesn't matter. Some people will pay you to swear. Look at Tony, look at Gary V. Some people want that more professional, gentle tone. Look at Brendan Bouchard. Some of them want that more upbeat in your face, get out there and do them, but still being calm and controlled, Brene Brown. I've just given you several different presenters throughout this that are famous and have their different styles. Your style is good for professional speaking. Just because you do not fall into the same category as someone else does not mean that you do not have a message. So now we have covered the difference between public, corporate, influencer, and private professional. Let's talk about some of the tools that you may need in order to become a professional speaker. Right here, I have my one sheet, just so you can have an idea of what it says. Your one sheet is one of the first things that you need to have. Now, what a one sheet is, it's almost like a resume for your public speaking, for your professional speaking. And you're going to cover the topics that you are confident in speaking on to an audience. This is where you need to develop your own niche for your presentation. As you can see on one side, I have my talking points. And on the other side, I have my bio and introduction. Your bio and introduction needs to be well crafted and explain not what it is that you do, but what you do for your audience, what your audience is going to gain from your presentation. And your talking points on the other side, these are things, these are not necessarily your key presentations, but topics that you are powerful with, topics that you can entertain a room, topics that you can speak with confidence for. For example, I have business and personal because I am very open and raw about who I am. So for business, I talk about neuro-linguistic programming, which is brain techniques, introverts, mindset and personal development, and social media. 
This is because these are the areas that I excel in. Now, as a private individual, and this is when I talk more on the motivational, the first one is more my workshops. The second is more my motivational speeches. I talk about being a survivor of domestic violence and also a mother of, being, of a non-fatal drowning toddler. Yes, he's okay, don't worry. Here, what you have is, like I said, your bio, your intro, your talking points, and how to contact you. You can see that little exclamation mark. It is because I do have some raw language that may be a little on the term of Gary Vaynerchuk. So I put a warning on my one sheet so people know that I am willing to swear on stage. And if they tell me not to, I won't. But if they don't, I'm probably going to let one or two drop. Then what we have next is the sizzle reel. What is a sizzle reel? Well, a sizzle reel is a short two minute video that has clips of you speaking on stage, in workshop, walking around, talking to people. It is almost like a movie trailer for your presentations. This is something that gives people a quick insight to what you have to offer. Then you have your website. You want people to be able to book you as a professional speaker. You will have links to previous recordings that you have done, previous presentations. You go to my website, you'll find a lot of the podcasts I have been on, a lot of presentations I've done. That way, how people know what you sound like, how you speak to your audience, what is your strengths, so they know whether to hire you. Then you also want to have a contact on there so you can talk to them, discover what it is they want from the presentation, help craft it. Your presentation should be very similar each time you give it, especially if it's one of your key presentations, but you should still craft it to your audience. Then you also need a marketing plan. What well, your marketing plan is, how do I present? Where am I going to showcase that I am a professional speaker for hire? Are you going to use social media, word of mouth? Are we going to lead generation? Are we going to apply to be on podcasts? These are all great steps you can do to get yourself out as a professional speaker. One of the biggest ones that I have not put here, and I know District 3 has an amazing opportunity, and that is our Speakers Bureau. In your Speaker Bureau, not only will you get to learn ways to become a better professional speaker, but you'll be able to practice and get feedback. One of my key pieces of feedback that I always, always give professional speakers, someone who wants to craft onto their stages, my first question I need to be able to answer is, would I hire you to speak to my audience? I'm either going to say yes or no. If I say no, well, what would I need different to hire you? And this is a great question you can ask in your evaluation. Would I be hired to be on stage? This will allow you to craft your presentations, work on your gestures, work on your mannerisms, work on how you present to your audience to make yourself more hireable. Professional speaking is a lot of fun is a great way for you to get out there and provide a lot of value to audiences to share your story, to share your skill set, and also earn an income. There is a difference between professional speaking and public speaking, and that literal difference is whether or not you are paid for it. Now, being paid does not necessarily mean that they cut you a check. They could pay you. I have seen professional speakers, we're going to pay you with a meal. We're going to pay you with advertising. We're going to promote you on our site. We're going to showcase you here. We're going to give you a VIP ticket. A lot of different ways allows you to be paid. And if you were to go for accredited speaker with Toastmasters, you do have to have a certain number of paid presentations within a calendar year. So this is why you would want to work to that standard. I hope I have answered questions on whether you want to be a paid professional speaker or a public speaker. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to Karen at blossomtosuccess.com and check out your Speakers Bureau within your district. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.